is the Bonia DA Primary School here in the Kastanankana West District. Somewhere last week, a heavy windstorm blew off portions of the school building. Aside the primary school, the junior high school, which is in the same premises, was also destroyed completely by the windstorm. I have been speaking to the headmistress of the primary, who tells me the windstorm has created a big challenge as the school does not have classrooms to carry on academic work. She says the few ones that have been left are where the school has had to pair up the classes to ensure that the pupils are not left behind academically. A side challenge that has been brought on the school by the windstorm, the school also faces a huge challenge and that has to do with the fact that the entire building is weak and dilapidated. The floors of the classrooms have broken and there are deep cracks in the walls of the entire structure. Pupils I've spoken with say they fear to sit in the classrooms because they do not know when the school will come crashing on their heads. Um, that uh, day I got the report of the rainstorm that actually caused havoc to the school. So I went there with my engineer. When we got there actually it's really bad. It's really bad. The roof was off and of course the building itself, the cracks, it is not something that you can just put back the roof. So we are compiling a report so that we uh, can go down and see what help we can get. But you realize that beside it, you see a new building that uh, we put up that is left with roofing. So we are going to tackle both sides and see what we can do so that immediately we can uh, put the case back to uh, the classroom. It is really bad. Because if we want, if we say we want to maintain that block, I don't know whether you actually went in. If you go in, you see that the whole block is condemned, actually. The whole block is condemned. Uh, the wind, I don't know how strong it was, and actually uh, it really caused a disaster. But we, we are working on it. My engineer is compiling everything, and I know definitely tackling it in both ways as to what to do to that, and then that new structure. I know we'll get somewhere. We'll get somewhere. Yeah. So I know very well, and I even uh, charged the directorate to put their heads together as to why my, um, I myself and my technical men are also uh, in, in, in talks so that we we'll see what we can do immediately so that the students will not uh, stay home. Nah, so we, we're on it, and I know very soon something will be done. In fact, one unfortunate accident on the 23rd of uh, last month, which was a Saturday around 4.30 p.m. when I was in the house, I had a call and that I should come to the school immediately. I got there and the moment I got there, my spirit even went off because the wind has, blew, the storm came, blew the school roof off and in fact, the rain, it was still drizzling and I had to organize uh, the children around and mobilize the community members so that we can see what to do to remove the school items from the office so that they do not get soil. And Beck asks a nearest uh, house to plead with them and they will give us a, a, at least a single room and we'll put our items there it's where they will be safe. From there, the winner was able to take some of the roofing sheets far distance. And some of the roofs, the roofing sheets were even hanging on the trees here. And there. The whole place you cannot describe. It was very, very, very pitiful. And I had to mobilize the young ones around, that's the youth. In fact, they came in to support and the community came in and were running here and there to gather things so that they do not spoil. From there, they were, the youth was able to take all the roofing sheets that went far, brought them. We gathered them. When you go behind the school, I think you see them there. And then, in fact, they did well. The community was... 
uh, there was unity between we, the teachers, and in fact the community came in and supported us, and everything went a little bit better. It has affected the school so greatly that teaching and learning cannot go on well, because some of uh, the peoples have no place to sit down because their classes has been root off and a whole lot of things is going on. So as at now, we merge the classes together in order to manage for teaching and learning must still go on as life is concerned. So everything is still teaching and learning is going on, just that it's, 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 it's not going on like uh, the way it used to be. Because uh, one teacher has to be sitting controlling the, the children, and one has to be teaching here and there. and. It's even making, I think you can see this is our school child moving around. When you ask them, they say the wind has blown off the school and for that much they cannot come because if the second wind comes, maybe it will take the, one of the sheets and cut their neck and for that much they may die and their parents will lose. Even though education is important, they do not want their parents to lose them. So it makes, uh, uh, as at now, the situation in Bonia primary is not easy for us. As the assembly member community, I think um, I was called immediately. The storm started um, destruction the place. I got there, um, and then after the storm, I gathered the community members. We tried to pack um, some of the removed things uh, at a particular place. Currently, we we I think after that, I called on the DC a number of times, and then he came uh, with his engineer to inspect. I made full ups um, up to date. I wrote letters to him, and then Nadmo as well, but then I haven't heard of any response up to today. Um, I tried contacting the DC on phone and um, I think uh, he suggested we have to uh, get some local carpenters and other people to uh, take off those hanging things uh, since they are very dangerous and deadly to a threat to the life of the student. So as it stands, um, uh, I think the junior high school, we, we were a bit fortunate that NGA, ND, Non-Development Authority, came to uh, start a project last year, uh, I think in this very month, April, uh, that has been left at roofing level up to today. So we are appealing to the government. We are appealing to the government and any uh, private individual who could support us to actually give us the needed support. As classes is completely not going on in both the primary and in the junior high school. Uh, as, as you can see, the, or as you have seen the community, this is not um, a, a commercial, uh, I mean, community. It's not a community whereby people deal in commercial businesses, so money is hard to come by. So it's, it's very difficult to say that we, members of the community, are going to probably mobilize ourselves and do. The best that we could do was just, I think, the, the junior high school where we use the math to build the structure ourselves. Getting the zinc is a, was a problem. We have to beg from our brothers who are down south, and I think we have also uh, tried to reach out to them to make a plea in case they, 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 they have anything in hand that they want to support. So we are, our appeal goes to the government and the general public, um, even our, uh, in the diaspora, anyone who could give us support to help us. The situation at the school is so bad to the extent that it has affected attendance, our students and pupils do not want to come to school. For Ghana Web TV, my name is Senela Castro, reporting from Borneo in the Castanacana West District.